Ice Cash Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So we're going to be reacting to something that Jay-Z said uh, about the Grammys, and we're going to give our comments on it. So we be back. Sketch Pad, you know what it is, man. Who raised you? bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh you need each other what yo i can't understand it neither all right man look man make sure y'all like share subscribe if y'all want to donate cash apps right on the screen man you know what i'm saying Sketch pad. So look, man, Jay Z said some things at the Grammys while he was accepting the uh Dr. Dre Global Impact Award from the Grammys. Um and yeah. I got a lot to say on this, so this might be a little bit of lengthy of episode. Um, you wanna leave a donation and thank y'all for everybody for y'all donations. YouTube has completely demonetized this channel. You know what I'm saying? We are not getting paid for all our hard work because of YouTube and the AdSense. They're saying that if we didn't do it right, we did it right, and for some reason, we're getting all, uh, we're still in the partner program, but we're not getting paid. So, uh, if you wanna donate, like a couple of other people did, make sure y'all hit the cash app, man. Look, and if y'all don't, just share the content, man. We're gonna keep doing this thing for y'all. But look, man, let's hear what Jay gotta say, and we'll be back, let's go. I'm just saying, we just, we want y'all to get it right. We love y'all. We love y'all, we love y'all, we want y'all to get it right, at least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't gotta clap at everything. Obviously it's, sub obviously it's subjective because, you know, it's music and it's opinion based, but you know, some things, you know, I don't wanna embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you made it robbed. <laughs> some of you don't belong in the category. <laughs> oh, no, 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 was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. All right, man, sketch pad, look, man. I'm gonna let you go first because I got a lot to say and it's gonna be pretty long. So what? Um I mean honestly, you know, um the Grammys, well they, all right, let me put it like this. Reward ceremonies in general to me have always been ceremonies that people throw and they reward their friends. You know what I'm saying? They're industry buddies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do feel sometimes that people get robbed of a reward, even though they deserve it. I mean, we've seen it with in hip hop. We've seen it in R&B. We've seen it in certain categories and genres. People get robbed at times. You know what I mean? They don't get the reward. They might risk the reward by a few points or whatever, whatever the case may be. But I always thought, you know what I mean, that reward ceremonies or whatever, that you would get some sort of gift, it was always for like, you know, the higher ups to get together and they say, here, I appreciate you, or here, I appreciate this, or you done this for so many years and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I've always looked at reward ceremonies for. I I never really paid too much attention to the Grammys. You know what I mean? I used to. Um, I used to pay attention to a lot of these award ceremonies, but you know what I mean? For the last few years, I haven't really, you know what I'm saying, paid attention to these award ceremonies because, you know what I mean, for 
certain reasons, personal reasons, I just I just veered away from it. Um, but his comments are not too far off. He's got a point, you know. Um, as far as his wife, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been paying attention to what she's been doing for the last few years. I have seen her, you know what I mean, doing her numbers, but I haven't been like locked in like, oh yeah, she's going to get, you know what I mean? I have not. I'm not even going front. Uh, but, you know, he seemed pretty truthful with what he was saying. And, you know what I mean? She's always been on the charts for so many things for so many years. And, you know, you know that fan base, that Beyonce fan base, they're like the mob, man. Like, they, they everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get no past them. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it sounds like he has a gripe, you know? with it and it also sounds like she could have possibly got robbed you know what i mean as far as there you know he started breaking down everything so it's not like it's not like uh he's you know being untruthful you know what i mean um i would like to know who are the people behind it you know what i mean i know there's a board there has to be a board members or something like that or who decides what I would like to know, you know what I mean? Because uh, who gets favored the most and this and that, you know what I'm saying? That's what I would like to know, uh, you know? But I mean, like I said, I, you know, I don't feel like he's too far off, you know? Like if he, feel, if he feels that she got robbed and she should have got what she got, you know what I mean? then by all means he has a right to feel that way because that's his wife you know what i mean he's supporting his wife what a man's supposed to do you know what i'm saying um at the end of the day what can you say tell him no no that's not right you know what i mean that's his wife you know what i mean he had his daughter right next to him so i mean at the end of the day, that's what it is for me um, the Grammys, um, it's a bunch of different things that I want to say about this whole comment, because it's a deeper issue that I think that a lot of people don't understand about the Grammys. So the Grammys has been around for about, I believe, 65, 70 years or something like that. Right. It's been around for a long time. It has been passed down from generation to generation. To win a Grammy Award is like the highest achievement that you can get in music as far as awards go. You got the American Music Awards. You got the Country Music Awards. You got the Hip Hop Awards, Source Awards. Then you have the Grammys. is like the Super Bowl of them all. You know what I'm saying? The That's Grammys cool. is, is, is what the, I believe, the Emmys and the um, the SBEs and all them awards. Like Those are like the top awards. So being a musician, not a musician... A musician, you know, um, winning a Grammy is a big deal because some artists, they win Grammys and everybody gets one that's involved in that music, I believe. So let's say Michael Jackson won a Grammy for Thriller and everybody that was involved in Thriller will get a Grammy. I believe that's how it works. So um, what Jay-Z said is, is something I've been saying for a long time. Now, I always champion the Grammys. I know a lot of people say that then the Grammys don't matter. I'm always the person that says, no, Grammys matter. You know what I'm saying? But the issue that I have is the Grammys start acknowledging hip hop years later after hip hop was been around for a long time. Cause for a long time, hip hop wasn't even considered um, a part of the music genre because it wasn't a genre. You know what I'm saying? It was just something that, that black people did. And when it's, when it came into the scene of the Grammys, it was one of those things where it was in the Grammys, but it wasn't really in the Grammys. It was like dark, like in the background. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rap artists, blah, 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 blah. Now that hip hop is, hip hop is everything now. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is there's no more R&B. It's just an extension of hip hop now. You know what I'm saying? It's a piece of, it's a piece of hip hop. So when he said, this young lady has the most Grammys and never won album of the year. 
And I hate to go down this road because it's the truth. Let's be clear here. The last black artist that has won artist of the year, or I would say um, album of the year, I don't even remember. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember who it was. And just just for just for context, right? Taylor Swift, I think she won album of the year this year, and I think she won album of the year a year a couple of years ago, and in and in another time too. Now, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Taylor Swift. I actually think she's okay as an artist, but Macklemore won when to Pimp a Butterfly, right? I think it was uh, to Pimp a Butterfly. No, it was Good Kid, Mad City. Macklemore won album of the, of the year over Good Kid, Mad City. I believe it was Good Kid, Mad City. I believe. I'm not sure. Or if it was, um, it, I think it was Good Kid, Mad City. He tweeted and said he shouldn't have won. Right? He said that. He said, I shouldn't have won. This, this, album, this belongs to Kendrick Lamar. Right? Here's the thing about the Grammys that I don't understand. And it's starting to become annoying to me, right? So the Grammys, when I believe when uh I think it was uh Good Kid Mass City and then Kendrick won album of the year of uh, rap album of the year with with uh to Pimp a Butterfly, right? What what made me what makes me upset about this is no rapper ever wins album of the year. Right? So let me get this right. Killer Mike, right? <clears throat> with his last album that he just put out. He won three Grammys. He swept the Grammys in the rap album category, the rap category. He took all the awards, right? And he can't, he can't win album of the year? How is that? Why did Taylor Swift win album of the year? Why? Why? And, it's, and, and I could go on for like an hour about this whole thing because it's much deeper than just black and white. It has a lot to do with men and women. It has a lot to do with favoritism. It has a lot to do with with uh, which artist we believe is going to get us more people to watch. It has so much more than just black and white. So it's not just that. You know what I'm saying? But what 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 really makes me upset about it is they created all these different categories for hip hop and all these different categories. Just so rappers can't get album of the year. That's how I feel. You created all these different categories. Because you center your whole thing around hip hop now. But for some reason, rappers don't get album of the year. How is it that Good Kid Mad City to Pimp a Butterfly or Damn didn't get album of the year? And that was the those were their best albums that year. They never got album of the year. How is that Kendrick Lamar is in the same so more had more people talking about the album. The album was better overall, but he didn't get album of the year. Somebody else that you never even heard of got album of the year. This is the this is the problem with the Grammys. And until they fix that, then it always always going to be an issue. Nas mm. Nas King disease. He won a Grammy, but why Why wasn't that album of the year? So the thing about the Grammys that people got to understand, and I think that people, I ain't going to say understand, I'm going to say the thing about the Grammys that I believe is they still have this thing where it's like, okay, we'll give, we'll, we'll give you guys some awards, but you won't get the, the, the you won't get the pinnacle award. You ain't going to get that award that, that is the top. We're going to give that to somebody like her. Or somebody like her. Or somebody that looked like her. Because for some reason, Kanye West said Beyonce has one of the greatest, she's one of the greatest artists of all time. Remember he said that about Beyonce? He took things from Taylor Swift. What Jay just do? Yeah. So years later, her husband does the same exact thing that he did yeah. that everybody criticized. Now everybody excuse me now everybody is championing it after kanye west said this years ago mm -hmm. he been said that 
But now everybody's like, oh, yeah, Jay. Not to say there's anything wrong with what he did. I'm saying mm -hmm. y'all wasn't paying attention back then. Y'all thought he was just hating. And that's when she was, that's when Taylor Swift was <clears throat> coming into her own. But the issue that we all run into is that there are artists who are better than Taylor Swift, who are better than some of these unknown artists, and they never get album of the year. This is the thing. This is the issue that a lot of artists have. Now, the reason why people like The Weeknd, people like Drake, and people like a couple of other artists don't want to have nothing to do with the Grammys. They don't. They gave The Weeknd a couple of years ago an ultimatum. The Grammys said either you play here or the Super Bowl. And The Weeknd said, well, I'm going to do both. You can't do both. You only could do one. So when he did, he said, I'm going to choose the Super Bowl. He took the Super Bowl. You know what they did? took all of his music and then they didn't nominate none of his music even though his album was the most streamed the biggest album the biggest song blinding lights save your tears uh uh uh, uh heartless those songs went diamond blinding lights is the biggest song of all time of all time bigger than thriller blinding lights is the number one stream song ever in history right did it get in a grammy did it get a grammy award no <laughs> did it get nominated for a grammy no not one not one nomination that's how you know that the powers that be are showing some type of favoritism towards a lot of these artists because you're telling me that a guy who has the biggest album and the biggest song ever didn't get nominated for a Grammy? How does that make sense? Mm. Just proves my theory right then. Proves what I said right. Exactly. So the thing is, a lot of times the Grammy Awards is a gentleman's or a female's club. But at the same time, you are right when you say that this is just something that they prop their friends up. But that's just, to me, it's always been up and down with it. But now it's gotten to a point where they say, okay, we can't exclude hip hop, but what we can do is we can just give out a little bit of these little awards that don't really mean anything. Hmm. So you can say, I got a Grammy for best rap performance of an alternative uh, underwater flute play. You're like, what? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That's what they'll do. They'll just create a new category that means nothing. And you'd be like, yeah, I got a Grammy. Be like, what you got a Grammy for? Put a, a best grape smashing with your feet playing playing the saxophone award. You'd be like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you won't get album of the year. You might get you might get hip hop album of the year. But you won't get album of the year. Right. And that's a big difference. You've got to understand. Mm -hmm. It's like night and day. Al hip, if there was to ever say that a hip hop artist had album of the year, that would change the complete landscape of the Grammys. They right. have to keep that to where they want it. Ask yourself, when was the last time you ever seen a hip hop artist get album of the year? And that to tell you everything you need to know about the Grammys right there. You can look it up right now if you want to. Yeah, let's look, look yeah, it let up. Me pause. Yeah. All right, so go ahead, man. Read this up. Let's, let, let's look at the last. And this, this is going to tell you a lot about hip hop. Now, keep in mind, hip hop is the biggest genre in the world. The most influenced genre ever. But we're going to go through. The last 10 years, starting from 2024, all the way down to, matter of fact, let's go down to 1999. So we're going to go, we're going to go past 24 years and we're going to, we're going to let y'all see what we mean. So you want me to read the, um, from the top. So you don't want me to read the pair. You don't want me to read the paragraph. 
No, you. just just the, uh, no. You ain't gotta read the paragraph. Just the, just okay. The, the name okay. of the, the artist album of the year. This okay. year was what? All right. So for this year, it was Midnight by Taylor Swift. It's pop. That's a pop genre. And then uh, 2023, it was Harry House's Harry Styles, pop. Uh, 2022, we are John Bestie. Uh, R&B. Yo, let me so- ask you, Let me stop you right there. Mm-hmm. You know who John Bestie is? Yeah, the dude that did the song to Lil Wayne. I don't know. We reacted to. We had reacted to his video a few few months back. All right, so um, 2021 folklore Taylor Swift alternative. Uh, 2020 when we all fall asleep, where do we go? Billy English. John Irish. Oh yeah, my bad. I Irish. Irish. Whatever her name is. Go ahead. Yeah. Then um 2019, Golden Hour. Casey um Musgraves Country. Uh 2018, 24K Magic, Bruno Mars. That's pop. Let me stop you right there. Uh-huh. So far, Bruno Mars is the closest we got to hip hop. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so keep going. Yeah. Uh 2017, 25, Adele, pop. Um, wait a minute. Well, I thought Adele is pop. I thought Adele was like Neo Soul or something no, like that. No. Oh, okay. Popular music, but she she could be cause cause popular music is popular music. But mm-hmm. go ahead. All right. Okay, so 2016. 1989, Taylor Swift, pop. 2015, Morning Phrase, Beck, alternative. 2024, Random Access Memories, Daft Punk, pop. 2014. Oh, my bad. 2014, yeah. yeah. 2013, Babel, uh, Mumford and Son, alternative. 2012, 21, Adele, pop. 2011, The Suburbs, Arcade Fire, alternative. 2010, Fearless, Taylor Swift, country. Hey, Taylor Swift is all over this joint. Keep keep going, keep going. Uh, 2009, Raising Sand, Robert Plant and Alliston Cross, uh, folk rock. Uh, 2008 River, the Joni, the Joni Letters, Herbie, Herbie Hancock, Jazz, 2007, Taking the Long Way, Dixie Chicks, Country, uh, 2006, How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb, U2, Rock, 2005, Genius Loves Company, Ray Charles, R&B, and Soul. 2004, Speaker Box, Love Below, Outcast. All right, stop right there. Let's just stop right there, right? Okay. So, Outcast was the last rap group that had one album of the year. Mm -hmm. Outcast, 2004. Now, hold up. Before we even go, I don't want you to even read the rest. I'm just going to go down. You know, before that was the miseducation of Lauryn Hill. That was 1999. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And you keep going all the way down. Then Michael Jackson's Thriller. Right? Those Mm -hmm. two albums was the only rap albums that's ever been nominated or ever that ever have ever won album of the year do you see how crazy that is and this is why jay-z says what he says exactly why jay says what he says because how is it that you're telling me that beyonce you see she wasn't even on there yeah she has the most grammys in history and she has never won album of the year 
How is it that Taylor Swift won four times for every Taylor Swift album that's ever came out? I believe she won a, a, a album of the year for it. How was that? What? 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 Like how? Adele has two albums or three. She has Adele has three albums. Three. And two of them won album of the year. But the first one's definitely album. What should have been album of the year? That was crazy. Yeah, you know I mean, twenty one, certified classic. What about twenty seven? The twenty one, yeah. That right there, hands down, yeah. But here's the thing. We don't. We didn't go and see what albums came out that year. Mm-hmm. Right. So let's look at let's look at 2015, right? Go back to the John 2015. 2015, I believe. Um, 2015. Morning Freeze Beck Alternative. That's 2015. All right, 2015. Hey Siri, what year did the Pimp a Butterfly come out? Hey Siri, what year did to Pimp a Butterfly come out? To Pimp a Butterfly was released on March 15th, 2015. Okay. So to Pimp a Butterfly, it came out the same year as that album. And you're telling me that Beck's album is better than To Pimp a Butterfly. Like, come on, man. But, hey, man, listen, man. All I'm going to say is, and I'm just going to leave it at that. The Grammys, what Jay-Z said, is nothing wrong with what he said, and it's a lot going on with them. So, only two rap, two album, two rappers have been nominated or one album of the year. I'm sure there's I'm sure that there were there were people nominated, but only one album of the year. And rap is the biggest genre in the world. That just goes to show you right there that maybe rap isn't the biggest genre in the world, or maybe they're just doing stuff to keep rap not being the biggest genre in the world. Just so they could say, Okay, yeah, you're the biggest genre in the world, but to be honest with you, you will never win album of the year here. And if you do, it ain't going to be, it has to be something totally out the box or the out the year that those years of those albums have to be kind of bad for you to get that. So it is what it is, man. Sketch pad. You know what it is. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.